oftentimes our emerging company clients will come to us and say, what is a pre-money value? And is it the most important term that I should be focused on when I negotiate my venture capital investment? Well, the answer is, as you'd expect, the pre-money value is the value that the investor is placing on the company prior to their making the investment. So it's the value before their money comes in. And oftentimes they'll determine this value by sort of backing into it. If I were a venture capital investor and I investigated a company that I wanted to invest in and I uh, was willing to put a million dollars in to help the company grow, I would have a sense of what percentage of that company do I need to receive to make my million dollar investment worthwhile. And that's going to be based on a lot of things, including my projections for how that company is going to grow and what its ultimate, ultimate sale price will be. And so it does include some of the valuation criteria that you might imagine, but in a lot of cases, and some VCs might take issue with this, but in a lot of cases, it's not maybe as complex in terms of valuation mechanics as you might imagine. They, from what I know, most VCs don't employ as a strict valuation criteria a EBITDA valuation mechanic or a you know run rate or a financial projection valuation mechanic. Rather, they're their valuation and their projections are a little more broad than that. It's based on their expected overall growth of the company and the percentage of the company that they feel like they need to own in order to make that investment worthwhile. So if I were willing to invest a million dollars in a company and I felt like I needed to have 25% of the company to make that investment worthwhile, I would give them a pre-money valuation of $3 million. This is easy to calculate. It's three million plus one million makes four. I need 25% of four, thus the pre-money is three, my million uh, makes it the four and I get 25% based on that calculation. If I was okay investing the million dollars and, and, and only taking 20% of the company back, then the pre-money value would have been four and the post-money valuation is five. So it's very simple and oftentimes uh, our clients will assume that it's the most important criteria in the financing because it represents the percentage of the company the investor gets at closing. But in truth, as you'll see in some of our other videos, the type of security they're receiving and the dividend rights and other rights that they might receive may actually result in greater dilution than the ultimate pre-money value does and we'll talk about that in these other videos.